According to their own terms of service, FTX customer funds that were held on the exchange and bought on the spot market, held just like in a regular wallet, should have been backed one to one. And these funds should have been kept totally separate from any margin accounts. But according to SBF himself, all funds were fungible and not segregated. This left spot accounts owned by regular customers who didn't use any kind of leverage at risk. Customer funds were lent to Alameda, and Alameda had no limits on how much money they could actually borrow. Also, Alameda directly gave loans to Sam Bateman Freed, to the tune of about a billion dollars. All of this came out of customer funds. Alameda was run by the same people who ran FTX, and that means that they could just take out any customer funds as loans for any kind of personal investments that they wanted. This meant that they could use customer funds for personal investments and leverage trading plus anything else they wanted like big mansions or even the Miami Heat Arena. The value of FTX was propped up by FTT tokens that were printed out of thin air. They even used their own token as collateral for loans, and then when Binance announced that they were going to sell all of their FTT tokens, there was a bank run and there wasn't enough customer funds for everybody to get their money out. Sam Bateman Freed had spent all of the customers' money and the whole thing totally collapsed. The price of the FTT token totally plummeted, and that meant that all of the collateral for all of their loans was instantly worthless, and that quickly led to bankruptcy. At the bottom of almost every bear market, there's an exchange that collapses, and almost everybody's money just totally evaporates. This is definitely going to happen again, because this is just human nature, and there's greedy people in this game. So to keep your funds secure, what you want to do is get a cold storage wallet. This one right here is made by Ledger, or you could get one by Trezor or anything else. But as long as you have your own keys, it's going to be your own crypto. And if you don't have the keys, then it's not your crypto. Keeping your cryptocurrency on an exchange just lets whoever's running the exchange loan it out and make money on your behalf. Then if that loan never gets paid back or if the exchange eventually collapses, your money just evaporates because they already lent it all out. So if you have one of these, then the next time a major exchange collapses, you can just sit back and watch everybody else panic. But what if someone tries to hit you with the old wrench attack? This is one of the biggest arguments people have for self-custody and protecting your own keys because someone can just come up behind you and hit you in the back of the head with a wrench forcing you to give them your keys and taking your cryptocurrency away from you. But this is a lethal weapon, so what you want to do in that situation is get yourself one of these. Then you can send some freedom seeds downrange and don't stop shooting until there's no longer a threat. If you have a cold storage wallet and you have one of these things right here, Nobody's going to take your cryptocurrency away with one of these stupid things. When it comes to my crypto, I like to treat it just like my guns. If you want to take it from me, you're going to have to come pry it from my cold dead hands. Cryptocurrency might have the capability to change your life, but this right here is what you need to protect your life. Of course, we've all heard the saying that if it's not your keys, then it's not your crypto, but there's another saying that I like. God made man and then cult made them equal. I'm not saying that you can go shooting people just to protect your belongings, but if someone comes up to you with a wrench and tries to hit you in the head with it, then they can definitely kill you, so you need to protect yourself. And the way things have been going recently, these two things might be your ticket to freedom in the future. So let me know in the comments, do you guys secure your own crypto, or do you let someone else do it for you? Either way, thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.